guys, it's me Kayla and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very fun and unique fidget haul for all of you. So all of my new fidgets are in this little container right here and the best part about all of these is that they were all less than a dollar and I found them in vending machines in grocery stores and just other random places around me. So this haul is going to be super cool. I actually did not open up any of these capsules yet so it's going to be so much fun for me and for you. If you guys didn't see the video before this one, I actually did a whole vlog of me hunting for these at the vending machines. So definitely check that out because it's very suspenseful and fun and it was quite an adventure. But guys, before we officially get into this haul, I have a challenge for all of you watching. I wanna see if you could click subscribe and turn on post notifications by the time I am done doing one spin in this chair. That literally took me like two seconds to do. So I hope you're up for the challenge. Are you guys ready? Okay, ready, set, go. Time's up. Were you able to do it? If so, then let me know in the comments below by commenting a sunflower emoji, just like the one on my shirt. But without further ado, let's just get straight into this haul. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up a random one. And, oh, okay, so it looks like first we got one of these fruit-shaped Orbeez balls. And, ooh, I think, what is this, guys? Oh, it's so beautiful. So first we have this purple plum Orbeez ball. Oh, it's so fun. I got so many other fruits from that machine because they had a big selection. So it looks like this might be a double. Let's see what's in this capsule. Oh, so I think it's another one of those little fruits, but this one looks different. What the heck? Oh my gosh. What the heck? I think it like melted. No, it didn't melt, but it looks like it's about to. I can't explain it, but look how it sticks to me. Oh my gosh, it's so weird. I can't tell if it's supposed to be this way or if it's like a little disformed because, oh, ugh. Oh, I was right. There are Orbeez all over my floor right now and it's oozing with, oh. I gotta take a quick intermission, I'll be right back. A few moments later. Okay guys, I am back. I kinda had a feeling that there was something wrong with that one. It just looked off to me. So, okay, uh, let's see if I can find any more of those little fruits. Okay, so actually I'm really happy because I think, uh-oh, I was gonna say I'm happy because I think this is the same thing, but it looks like it has the same type of um, texture. Like it's extra saggy and it's, oh, this one already exploded. Oh, did you see this? Oh, ew, guys, this video is taking a turn for the worse. It's leaking all over me. Why is it this specific fruit? I'm hoping we won't have any more mishaps. Anyway, then I found this super duper cool spinner toy right here. I actually already had this purple one in my collection, but I wanted to try to get a different one. So I put some more quarters in the machine and I got this really, really cool blue one. And I am so, so happy with it. Look at how fun these are. I got these for 75 cents at the Dollar Tree. Which one's gonna stop first? I bet blue's gonna stop first. Dun, 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 dun. Um, oh, purple stopped spinning first. I was wrong. Okay, well anyway, we're gonna keep going. Ooh, okay, this is probably one of my favorite things that I found while I was fidget hunting at vending machines. So, look at this, you guys. I love it. It is a super duper satisfying Orbeez stress ball. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Like, the colors are immaculate. It fits in the palm of your hand. And, oh my gosh, I swear, I'm just gonna keep one of these in my car. It's so perfect and I'm obsessed with it. I got a lot of duplicates, so let me see. I'm gonna make sure this is the exact same thing. I'm pretty sure it is though. Yeah, this is totally the exact same thing. Next up, wait, what is this? <gasps> okay, I'm not kidding. Guys, I didn't even realize I got this. I don't even remember what machine I got this at. What? <gasps> I was hoping for one of these things. It's kind of like a squishy yo-yo and inside, oh my gosh, it's a crab. Inside is a crab. You guys probably can't really see it, but it's in there, it's right, it's right there, it keeps moving, but oh my gosh, look at this. I'm gonna try to get the crab in there so you can see him. Look, you see him? There he is. How did I miss this? I swear I don't remember getting it. And I like this type of yo-yo because it always comes back up. 
I was never able to quite master real yo-yos. Like the string just always went down, 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 and then I could never catch the yo-yo. Okay, I love this thing. I don't know what to think about this next thing. I thought I was gonna get something different from this machine, but I got this literal like emoji cube. And I don't know whether or not to consider it a fidget or not, because recently I actually ordered an Amazon package of random fidgets, and there was something very similar to this in there. And so, I don't know guys, what do you think? Should this be considered a fidget or not? I feel like it's not really a fidget just because what the heck am I supposed to do with this? It's kind of boring. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Ooh, okay. So I found some slime putty stuff. I don't know if it's putty or slime. Oh my gosh, this might be a big mess. <laughs> Let's see, ooh. Wait, okay, this is actually kind of cool. So I believe this was like 75 cents. In my opinion, it's not worth that many quarters. Hear me out. I could get a container of slime for 25 cents more at the dollar store and I get like 10 times the amount. I think I'm gonna open the other slime that I got. Oh, I think there's something in it. Oh no, that's just sparkles. This one's called Glittery Glop. Let's see which one I like better. It's hard to take out of the packaging. So here you go. Okay. Uh, this isn't really stretchy at all. It feels like overactivated clear slime. I would say save your 75 cents. Oh guys, I was so excited whenever I found these. They are SpongeBob and Patrick yo-yos, I think. And I'm so happy that I got one of each. You know, I could have got two SpongeBob's or two Patrick's, but look at this, ready? Okay, so it's not really a yo-yo, it's more of like a, but <laughs> look at this. It's so weird that he's not square. Look, he's round. But yeah, this is definitely a fidget because look, you can make his face big. <laughs> oh, I love this. So yes, we have SpongeBob. And then like I said, I also managed to get Patrick. I kind of like Patrick better. Oh, I'm just so happy that I have both of them. Watch this. Oh my gosh. Now guys, I have to ask, are you team SpongeBob or team Patrick? Today I'm kind of team Patrick. Honestly, I'm totally guilty of watching the old SpongeBob episodes. It's just so nostalgic for me and I will literally put it on just for background noise and it makes me so happy. So let's see, next up, ah oh, yes, I love these, these never get old. We have another Orbeez ball and oh my gosh, there was one in the machine. It was like, oh, it was like metallic purple with sparkles. I wanted it so bad, I think, let me see, is this one any different or is it just a black string instead of white? Look how cool that is. But the only difference with this one is just that um, it has like black netting stuff instead of white. So I am going to keep this one though because um, it is slightly different from the rest. Oh, okay. So guys, I found a Rubik's cube. It's a mini Rubik's cube. And look at this. It's literally like, it's the real deal. Oh my gosh. <gasps> It's so satisfying and I swear it's like so smooth. It's so much smoother than my original ones that I have. So I really like this, it's super fun. Wait, I have to make the match up again. There we go. Okay, I'm so excited about these right here. So these are little squishy pencil toppers. I used to collect these when I was a kid and you know what? I feel like I would consider these to be fidgets because <gasps> they're just so fun to squish. They're sort of like mochis except they're cuter. Um, they were actually even cuter back in my day, <laughs> back in my day, as if I'm ancient. So this is an albino squirrel. I think this is a gray sheep. Yes, it's a gray sheep. Oh, guys, okay, these two are mysteries. And I actually think this one right here is a rare. Oh, this brings back so many memories. <gasps> yes, oh my gosh, I got a rare possum. I remember me and my friend literally would go every single weekend to the vending machines and we would get like $20 in quarters and just sit there and get squishy after squishy after squishy after squishy. So I think this is either a glow in the dark or another rare. Let's see. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, this is an original. So it was not a glow in the dark or a rare. Um, I thought it was just because of the bubble, like it was non-see-through. But this is actually an OG squishy, it's the frog. Okay, well that was really fun. And these were only 25 cents, so definitely worth it. What is this? Oh yeah, okay guys. I'm going to see if this will stick to my mirror. Ready? Wait. Why isn't it doing anything? 
No, they're supposed to stick to things. Or so I thought, maybe this isn't what I'm thinking. But either way, okay, so this sort of reminds me of monkey noodles, except they have little fingers. Either way, it's cool, and it's definitely considered a fidget. And then guys, we have just a few more things left. Oh, okay, so I got this octopus at our very first stop, which was the Dollar Tree. And yeah, you can kind of just put them on your finger. Now, the last things remaining in this container are mochis, and not just any mochis, glow-in-the-dark ones. Oh, first we have this little purple sleeping cat. I love her. Okay, so this is the first one, and I'm gonna have you guys vote on your favorite one once I'm done opening them, so just stay tuned. I'm literally dropping all these capsules on the floor as I go through them, so that'll be really fun to clean up later, but... Oh my gosh, I love this one. I love this. Look at him. He is so cute. It's a turtle. It's like a coral turtle. I have to say I like the turtle more than the cat so far. Is this a double? Yeah, this is a double. It's another sleeping cat. This is not a sleeping cat. It is purple, but I think this is a koala. Let's see. Yeah, it is a koala bear. Oh my goodness. That is so fun. We have a koala, a cat, and a turtle so far. Next up, what are you? Are you an octopus? Oh, he's an octopus. I was hoping he was an octopus. Look at him. It's a squid. This is amazing. I love him. He's so cool. Okay, he might actually be my favorite. No, the turtle's still my favorite. I don't know, guys. This is hard. Here's the next one. What is it? Oh, it's a blue squid. Look. Oh my gosh, they're best friends. Oh, I wonder how many different colors each animal comes in. I'd love to know. This is the very last one. Let's see what we got. I think this is either, are you a mouse or a bear? I think it's a bear. Yeah, that's definitely like a teddy bear. What do you guys think? I think it's a bear. Oh my gosh, look at our little mochi fam. So guys, I have to know, which mochi is your favorite? Uh, would you say the purple octopus, the blue octopus, the purple koala, the purple sleeping cat, the coral turtle, or the blue teddy bear. So if I had to choose my favorite thing that I got, I would say, oh, this is so hard. Okay, I have to give you my top three. I cannot just pick one thing. It's like almost impossible. I have my top three. So I would have to say this little Orbeez fruit. I don't know what it's supposed to be. What do you think it is, guys? I think it's either a plum, a pink tomato, or a strawberry, but I'd say for sure this. Then I'd have to say this little purple yo-yo that I didn't even know I got. And I love that it has a crab inside and its texture is just so unique and I don't have any fidget quite like this. And then this may be my number one favorite if I'm being honest. I love Warby's mesh balls. They are like my favorite things ever to exist. And look how pretty this one is. I'm obsessed. And this was only 50 cents, like what? But guys, I would love to know if you could take one thing from today's fidget vending machine haul, what would you choose? Like, what do you think is the coolest thing I found? Anyways, you guys, that is all for today's video. If you like this, then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.